what is up guys what is going on today i'm kind of like in a different setting i was in the closet talking to my auntie yesterday because that does not matter but she was like oh you should start filming in here and doing this thing called closet chronicles at first i was kind of like oh, okay then like i started to process it i'm like that's low-key a really good idea in my last video i was just talking about like being transparent and being authentic and sharing my life with you guys it's just such a good way for us to just catch up on life get to know each other more have chats in the comments and i could just do this every single sunday just like a little series where we just talk in kind of like a video diary and it's also going to be good for me to look back on just to see where i where i was and where i come from i literally have no topics no ideas got me a fresh cup of water the ice machine made all the ice like this kind of like at sonic first thing i'm going to talk about that happened this week is reading so you guys know i tried to read atomic habits i definitely filmed that so it's boring guys it's so freaking boring and i'm trying to so a big goal of mine this year was to read more i wanted to read more and just like it's less time on the phone basically the first month of january i did so good i think i read four books because i read this, the whole selection series in january and i believe the selection makes up three books actually three books because i read the selection the elite and the crown i believe great series that was my first book i ever read in february the plan was to read atomic habits and twilight so i went to start reading the atomic habits for the beginning of february guys i literally got like three pages in and i just like i cannot do this and i i what well, before this year when i used to try to read it was always self-help books and i was because to me i just thought that's how you done it i don't know i was just trying to get into books and people always raved about these self-help books so i tried that and it was no wonder why i failed in 2023 of trying to read books because they suck and i'm not saying that the writer sucks it's just so freaking boring <laughs> it's so boring i put down atomic habits after two weeks of trying to read it and i picked up crave and i'm reading crave and i literally read up the chapter 51 in one day and that just that right there showed me that I'm done trying to give self-help books. Of course, I do want to sprinkle them in every now and then, and I have to push myself to read those type of books. But I'm not going to try to force myself to read self-help books. I think I might aim for reading one self-help book every quarter, so that'll be four self-help books for the whole month. I mean, for the whole year. Crave is so good right now. I had to stop because me and my friend are reading it together. Two days in, though, I'm at chapter 51, and I believe the whole book is 65 chapters. So I'm not reading right now, which was kind of hard, but actually it wasn't that hard because I picked up another book to read that I read it one day. It was my first Colleen Hoover book and it was Verity. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed the suspense of it. Finished that book though, literally in one day. I started it on Thursday. It was Friday. I started it last Friday. Well, today's Sunday. I started it the Friday that just passed that morning since my computer. That's another thing. Since my computer wasn't working, I, I sat there and just read the book the whole day. So today, Sunday, I work on Sundays. I'm not working right now because Friday, my headset messed up. Saturday, my, my supervisor told me to clock out and I got paid to literally sit around and watch Boruto. What else did I do? I was supposed to edit. I realized I hated what I filmed. So that video is not going to get posted, which is supposed to come out today. So that sucks. So I don't have a video coming out, but I'm not going to really pressure myself. It's okay. Not really. I'm kind of sad about it low key. And then today, I go to clock in and it's still not working, so I'm off again and she told me to clock out again. So I'm filming this video, trying to keep my um, video log caught up and I'm so happy my auntie had this idea for Closet Chronicles because it's so cool and look how I can just talk to you guys. I've already been talking for six minutes about absolutely nothing, but let's move over. So we talked about reading, we talked about my job. Speaking of jobs, guys, I wasn't going to tell you guys yet, but I did get a new job. No more on the phones. No more on the phones. I get paid more. I get paid more. Mm, mm. Six months of listening to people complain about their credit cards. Six months of fraud, fraud, fraud. All this stuff getting on my nerves. I'm traveling. Can you please put a... Uh, can y'all stop putting a hold on my account? Yes, it's me giving my money to scammers, but I still want my... Oh, six months of that. And finally, I got a new job. Still work from home. <sighs> I'm so excited to start that job. I'm so excited. I start March 4th. Super excited. Um, guys, um, that's that's nothing but a blessing right there. And that was one of my biggest goals for the first quarter. I had three goals. Get monetized, get a new job, and pay off this debt that I had. And guess what? Two of those, check. So I'm so excited for 
this year. I have really been on top of myself, really just trying to stay grounded. And it's been so hard so far, especially with like I've been trying to keep a routine because I feel like the routine that I have waking up in the morning, reading the Bible, working out, that really keeps me grounded to set the day great, like to keep going and not like giving up, staying on top of my YouTube channel. Like all these little habits are helping me to have these good goals. When I wanted another job, I was applying religiously. Every day, three, five jobs, redoing my resume, trying to make things better, and it paid off, and it feels so good to just be like, okay, I'm about to leave this job, so I don't give a crap about this job. So the fact that this is like, the fact that the computer just stopped working and I'm getting paid to not be there is like literally a wink from God. And I'm so thankful because he know how much that job was literally getting on my nerves, but I was giving it my all to the very last minute because unfortunately, I'm not giving him a two weeks notice. I'm going to quit on March 3rd and I start my job on March 4th. So yeah, anywho, I know that's probably not the right thing to do, but like I've been telling y'all from my work from home series, these companies do not care about you. If I tell them that I'm about to quit for a two week notice, they probably will fire me. So we're just not going to do that. I know people say like, oh, your reputation with them. Let me tell you, 99 people and it don't matter if I don't get them. Okay, I was trying to say, like, there's a lot of jobs in the world, so. But, anywho, man, this is fun. <laughs> I got so much to tell you guys. Like, it's kind of like, literally like a diary, just talking to you guys. Let's see what else, what else I want to talk about. Wait, what was we talking about? I told you about the job. My birthday is coming up in March. I'm going to be 25 years old. Ah, I'm about to be 30. I'm just kidding. Let me calm down, calm down. We got five years till we get there. But still, it's crazy. I think I'm growing up beautifully. Like I think the way that I'm aging, the way I look is beautiful. The the way things are happening. Of course I'm not where I want to be, but I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Cap, because I don't want to be here, but I, I don't know how I want to say it. It's like I don't want to be here, but I'm so grateful that I am here. Because this moment has allowed me to literally pay off the debt. I guess we'll get into this next after I'm talking about my birthday but saving up for a car saving to move out of state possibly to make big girls move this this time of my life needed to happen and i see that now i'm just so grateful to be here <sighs> so 25 years of life breathing oh it's been crazy i mean it ain't been that crazy it's been really good my like i've had hard times but nothing compared to what people probably have went through so all I can say is thank you. For my birthday, I don't have nothing that much planned. Honestly, there's not much I really even want. All I want to do, guys, I promise to you, get a facial, get my hair done. I would have loved to get my nails done professionally, but I can't afford to get my hair done. That's that's 280. Get my facial, that was 145. And then to get my nails done, I don't know. I never got like I've never had acrylic and my toes painted professionally. Like when I was a kid, yes, but as an adult, I've never been. So I don't even know. When I was looking on the site, it looked like it'll come out to around 120 to have both done. But I don't know if that's including designs. Like I don't know how nails work. So I would have loved to get that done. But since I'm buying a PlayStation 5 from a friend for my birthday gift to myself, that's $300. So it's like, okay, calm down. Now Now you're doing too much. So we had to sacrifice to get my nails done and my massage. Because I was going to get a facial, a massage, my hair done, and my nails done. And then a friend wanted to sell their PlayStation. And I was like, let me do that. Let me buy that because I need a new PlayStation anyway. So those are the plans. Nothing more, nothing less. And I think we're going to go out to eat but other than that I really don't care I I just want to be that day and I actually have to work that day because I had it off with my current job but now I'm going to be in training so I can't take it off which to me God's playing like if that's where I needed to be I'm at the point where God has taught me to literally when what happens happens what's going to happen is going to happen everything's going to be okay in the end though so that's why I am. So I'm working on my birthday. I probably do everything on Sunday. I already moved my facial. The person doing my facial, I am so excited to meet. They are so lovely. They seem like such a nice person. So I'm so excited to meet them. I text them and change my schedule date. She's like, oh my gosh, congratulations on your new job. And then with my hair appointment, I'm going to book that on March 1st. On company's time. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited for my birthday. I just literally want to do nothing. And to me, that's doing a lot because I never do nothing for myself. That's what I was about to talk to you guys next about is it's about to be a new quarter, which means that I have new goals coming up. And the only goal that I have for the second quarter, since the first quarter was such a success, if I'm not monetized, of course, that goal will get rolled over to second quarter. So I would love to get monetized and honestly, just save money. Be smart with my money and save it because I'm about to start getting paid more. So there's no excuse 
Well, I should not have at minimum at the end of this year 5k in my account. Yeah, this week was really really chill. I'm proud of myself. I worked pretty much every day this week until my computer started messing up, but I would have been there if the computer wasn't messing up. I'm not complaining. I'm really relaxed with this job since, you know, I'm about to leave. So, try not to leave in a way that's disrespectful so that if another job calls them, they're not leaving me bad reviews. So, I've been trying to give it my all. They just gave me a verbal warning. But that, uh, I'm not even, that made me so upset because I swear, like, to them, they don't care about nothing. You could do everything right, then the one time you do something wrong, oh my gosh, I wanted to talk about my last video. Okay, yeah, I'm done. I was done with what I was about to say anyway. I hope I'm not talking fast because when I get passionate or excited, I be gone. Like, the words can't even keep up. But let me tell y'all, my last video that's titled, You're Not Alone, I'm going to put it here. I filmed that video one time and I was like, mm, nope, and I deleted it. And I, and I wasn't going to do it again. I was like, you know what? This was like on a Wednesday, I think. No, no, no. I don't know. It was one day I was at work and I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Give it another try. Outline your video this time so you can stay on script and just try again. Guys, I, re I refilmed it. I edited it. And I posted it on Thursday, I believe. Or was that Sunday? Mm. I posted it. Let me make sure. I posted that video and oh wait, I was editing the video, trying to make it my best. And I'm like, okay, this is better than the first time around because the first time around, I absolutely hated it. I deleted it so quickly. Did not like nothing about it. This time around, I liked it. It was better. It was more thought out. It was more planned. It wasn't like all over the place like the first one. And when it got to the thumbnail, I'm like, okay, what do I do for the thumbnail? Like this video is so different from what I'm normally doing. I don't like to really talk about other creators or talk about other success like I kind of stay in my own lane focus on myself but in this video I kind of wanted to like tell people that what you got going on is exactly that what you have going on and to be proud of that basically and I didn't know how to get that message across but guys the video seems to be doing really really well and I'm just so happy that that's happening because I really one almost gave up on that video two didn't know how to go about that video but still the fact that I was able to push through and still come up with the video that I'm actually on a scale of one to ten eight I'm, I'm eight about it like so I'm happy about that I, I'm pretty pleased and just to see it being re received well from you guys is great so I love that I don't want this video to be super long for my very first one, so I think I'm actually going to end it here. For the rest of the day, I'm going to edit a video that's going to be coming out Thursday. This one's going to come out on Sunday because I think I'm going to make every Sunday my Closet Chronicles. Because this was fun. Just sit down, put the camera on, and just talk to you guys. So, so I'm going to do it every Sunday because there's something always I can tell you about, even if the video is five minutes. So we'll see how, how you guys respond to it. I don't know what type of thumbnail I'm going to do with this because, like, what? I'm just sitting in the closet. And look at my closet. It's not even, like fabulous or anything but we'll figure it out hopefully i like this when i look back at the edits hopefully i wasn't talking too crazy and too fast and all that stuff but anywho i guess i'll go ahead and leave you guys here i'll see you guys next sunday with the closet chronicles you'll actually get a video on thursday but for the closet chronicle videos you'll see it on the next sunday and that just makes my video planning so much better because everything else will go on thursday and these will be sunday until that changes so guys it was lovely having you here. It was a great talk. Hope you was able to learn more about me and kind of see where my head is with year 2024. Comment down below and catch me up with your life, what you got going on, what you looking forward to, plans, what's going on, when your birthday is. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.